Okay, so we're going to make a quickie video for lighting commissioners here. I've got a Philips Advance Mark 7 Revision B IZT 2PSP 32 SC ballast, and it says it can take F25 T8s, so I've installed F25 T8s. Now, as a commissioning agent, when you first get on site, you're going to want to drive this at various control voltages because this is a 0 to 10 volt controller but the first thing you're going to want to check is for your records and you want to keep records is what is the open wire voltage I've got 13 and a quarter volts the next thing you're going to want to do is check the current generation on your 0 to 10 volt control lines by shorting it through an ammeter and remember an ammeter is a direct short and I've got and you can see the light dim down because I'm shorting the 0 to 10 volt control leads through the ammeter I've got about 200 milliamps says 190 whatever good enough now if you know how to use your equipment you will be forcing an output from the controller to the lights, a control voltage output. If you do not, you're probably going to need to disconnect the wiring. And remember our initial check is control wires open because there's a constant current generator inside here. Uh, full output, shorted, minimum output, as low as it's ever going to go. But we're going to check to find out where the top end of dimming is which is something you're going to need to know when you program the controller to put out control voltages. So let's hook up and read some control voltages and let's try and find the top end. Wait a minute, wait a minute. My bad. There we go. I'm at 11.95 volts with the slider all the way up. I'm going to, oh, and now I'm going to find my spot where dimming just begins to occur. All right, picking about, I find that eight and a half volts is about the top end on this. Then we're going to want to find the bottom end on it, which is the bottom of the dimming range. And I'm finding it to be about 1.2 volts right bottom of the dimming range I won't bore you with checking all the intermediary points but we're going to put all the data in Excel and graph it let's examine our response graph for our 0 to 10 volt dimming ballast we think as lighting commissioners that if we put in an 8 volt control voltage output for demand response we're going to get a 20 percent uh, reduction in the area on a 0 to 10 volt system you could not be more wrong you're way up here uh, at uh, 90 something percent and you're lucky if you even get those results this is one hundred percent to zero percent right of illumination out and then here we have zero to ten volts of command voltage let's look at some of our points of interest as we always do eighty percent because that might be a good demand response level to set lighting at And then let's not forget our bottom end of daylighting response, which in the state of California is going to call for at least a 75% illumination reduction. We'll go down here to 20% and a little higher, say 25%. On this controller, you would be looking for 2 volts or lower. 
this is two volts and on your top end you might want to go a little above the dimming curve for daylighting so that as daylight begins to come in the lights don't respond immediately so that's about 9 volts so you're talking about 8.8 .8 volts or something like that for demand response to drop this particular luminaire down to 80 percent output we'd be looking at a point about here and that would be six eight seven so you're talking about between six and six point two volts we'll call it uh, yeah that sounds about right so if you've been programming numbers into a controller as a commissioning person figuring that the voltage output responds to the output from the luminaire for a 0 to 10 volt control voltage you have been way off base you need to characterize the lumen output from the luminaire for various control voltages and this probably goes for digital as well you don't know if you send an arc power 50 percent command to digital luminaires whether they're actually going to 50 percent you can only tell this with a light meter so get used to the fact that you have to characterize the luminaire output for the control signal or voltage input